We are at uh, chapter one in this physics course. Um, we'll uh, take each section. There's seven sections, standards of unit, standards of length, mass, and time, modeling and alternative representations, dimensional analysis, conversion of units, estimates, and order of magnitude calculations and significant figures. Uh, so we're just in section 1.1. The standards of length, mass, and time. Um, let's go on with the uh, the lecture. The standards of length, mass, and time. The standards in measurement must be readily accessible. They must possess some property that can be measured reliably. Uh, they must yield the same result, and they must not change with time. And in 1960, the uh, uh, the Base units uh, were formed, the, called the SI units. Uh, SI stands for Le Système International Units. Uh, it's French, we call it the International System of Units, uh, but it's known as the SI system based on the MKS, uh, uh, the the meter, kilogram, and second. And so these are the base units uh, on the side here, time, length, mass, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, and the amount of substance and luminous intensity. And these are the, the uh, units of SI, it's the second meter, kilogram, ampere, Kelvin, mole, and the candela. Uh, now, if you look at these, uh, the relations between the base units of SI and the natural units, uh, they look a little more complicated, especially when you get to the kilogram here, you see uh, H delta nu CS divided by C squared, um, and we're going to get to that, but the H delta uh, nu CS, that's basically what, what you have, you have uh, a form of E equals MC squared, uh, where the E in this case is the H is the Planck's constant, constants times the frequency of cesium. Um, so the, um, let's get on with length. We'll come back to the kilogram in a bit. Uh, the length is the distance between two points in space, and we typically uh, use meters uh, here in America, we use miles and feet and uh, what are known as imperial units, but the uh, in the SI units, we use the meter. And let's just take a few of these. The distance from Earth to the most remote known quasar is 2.7 times 10 to the 26 meters. Uh, one light year is 9.46 times 10 to the 15th. Uh, the mean orbit radius of Earth about the sun is 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters, the mean radius of the Earth, the 6.37 times 10 to the 6 meters. Uh, length of a football field, we know it is 100 yards, or it's 9.1 times 10 to the 1 unit, which means it's 91 uh, mean meters. Uh, and let's get down to the diameter of a proton. It's, proton is on the order of uh, 10 to the minus 15 uh, meters. Um, so the meter, the is the the meter is the distance traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of one uh, part in two hundred two hundred ninety nine million seven hundred ninety two four hundred fifty eight seconds. Um, now let's get to the mass. Uh, now the mass it says here the kilogram mass. The kilogram is a mass of specified platinum iridium alloy cylinder kept at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures at Cervay, France. That is no longer the standard. Uh, it becomes a little confusing when we talk about the new standard adopted in, uh, uh, well, it was on November 16th, but it became effective May 20th, 2019. Let me just read the paragraph here. On November 16, 2018, the General Conference on Weights and Measures adopted a measure that effective May 20th, 2019, the SI units of measurement will be defined by means of a set, a set of seven fixed numerical values of natural constants. Um, 
This resolution now defines the kilogram as follows. A body has a mass of one kilogram if its rest energy is equal to the energy of 1.4755214 times 10 to the 40 cesium photons. I got this from the physics teacher. Uh, this is just a, a 2020 publication, so it's pretty recent. Uh, let's go back to this. These are all the, the, um, uh, the, uh, base units and you can see all except the mole uh they all have this this uh, uh frequency of cesium uh involved in it and it's so it's a new new definition now going from this first uh result it uh be readily accessible how readily accessible is this new definition of the kilogram well i don't know that it's that accessible unless you have a uh the, elect the electrical electronic equipment, uh, the electrical balance needed to uh, to measure that. So anyway, that I just needed you to know that there's a new definition of mass. Uh, okay, time. Time is uh, a second is nine billion one hundred ninety two million six hundred thirty one uh, thousand seven hundred seventy times the period of vibration of radiation from the cesium-133 atom. And let's look at some, some uh, uh, times here. The age of the universe, 4 times 10 to the 17 second. Um, age of the Earth, 1.3 times 10 to the 17. Average age of a college student, 6.3 times 10 to the 8th. One year, 3.2 times 10 to the 7th seconds. Uh, let's get uh, time interval between uh, normal heartbeats, 8 times 10 to the minus 1, so 0.8 seconds. Um, period of vibration of an atom in a solid is 10 to the minus 13 seconds. And time, time interval for light to cross a proton is 10 to the minus uh, 24 seconds. All right. Uh, powers of 10. Uh, we're not going to use a lot of these. Um, we'll, use, we'll use things like uh, uh, picosecond net or uh, picofarads, nanofarads, microfarads when we get into the second um, semester. Uh, millimeters, we'll use millimeters and we'll use centimeters. I, I, I am more prone to use millimeters. Uh, Kilo, a thousand kilograms, uh, mega, giga, tera, uh, those are all uh, powers of 10 units. We're going to have an exercise where you watch a little video and you answer some of these uh, questions and, and you need to know some of these uh, prefixes. Okay, density. Density is a definition. Uh, uh, it's a uh, Mass divided by volume, so density is specified as rho. The Greek letter rho, rho is defined as the mass divided by the volume. So if we assume that the uh, this styrofoam chunk and this lead chunk are of the same volume, which is more dense? Well, of course, the lead is more dense than the styrofoam. And here's a, a quick Quiz, in a machine shop, two cams are produced of aluminum and one of iron. Both cams have the same mass. Which cam is larger? Well, if you look at any density mag density uh, table, you'll see that aluminum is much less dense uh, than iron. So the aluminum cam has to be larger. And that ends our, uh, our uh, introductory uh, lecture.